just want to add that one of the things that motivated me two and a half years ago when I was asked to uh, serve on this committee, and Juan, we've talked uh, that two and a half years ago, this was a daunting task. Huge. The motivated community. I think we're close. We're not quite there yet, but I think we're close. But one of the motivating factors for me is, is I don't believe a child has to stay in poverty just because they were born in poverty. And I really, really believe in a social conscience. And that's what I talk about all the time when I talk to people, is the social conscience of our community. And wow, look at our community already. You know, when, I, when the Kalamazoo Promise was announced, it just floored me. I was sitting in my living room when I got a phone call from the report. I didn't know what the Kalamazoo Promise is. I yelled at Janice later. <laughs> she didn't tell me. I didn't tell anybody, she said. But that, that, every place I go, people read a name tag, oh, you're from Kalamazoo. Oh, the Promise, immediately. And I'm talking all across the country. The Promise. How's it going? It's progressive. It really is progressive. Okay? It's not something that happens overnight, but it's progressive. The, the livelihood of the, of the students and the community of Kalamazoo just continues to amaze me. We can do this. We can do this. We are so close. But each and every one of us have to go out there prepared to talk about it constantly. That education, especially preschool education in this community, now I'm talking a region. This is Kalamazoo County. Okay? But a child born into poverty should not be subject to poverty their whole life. Absolutely not, and there's no reason to, because every child can learn. With that, thank you. Thank you.